Town Hall 6 is finally maxed out after a week of progress. It's time to go to Town Hall 7, and in today's video, we're gonna talk about the defensive upgrade process that I completed in order to get this base done, and we're gonna go to Town Hall 7 within this video. Stay tuned. Hey, what's going on guys? Joe here, coming at you today with my next to last video for Town Hall 6. I still have to do a farming video. We'll get to that army next, uh, probably very soon. Anyways, moving on. So we're going to Town Hall 7. This base is maxed out and we did go ahead and knock out all the defensive upgrades since our last video. If you didn't catch that, click that video up there and make sure you check it out from the very start. It took us about a week to complete these upgrades. Uh, most of the upgrades kind of take about a day. Some are about 12 hours, some are about 16 hours. But first, we completed our laboratory. We knocked out our clan castle. We finished up all of the storages. We knocked out the spell factory. And then also our army camps are complete. And you already know that our mines and elixir pumps were already maxed out when we first started. So that is a good thing. And we are finished here. But before we get into the defenses, we can do the clan games. Town Hall 6 is you can do clan games. That's a good thing. However, some of these clan games don't necessarily apply to us. And it's kind of hard. It is what it is, but we're going to go to Town Hall 7 very soon, and we will get to do the Season Pass challenges as well. So we are going to speed this thing up a little bit faster than what it was before. So let's go ahead and take a look at our defensive upgrade order. We're going to remove everything there, and let's go ahead and post that order for you guys to see. All right, so what I did first when I started working on the defenses, and some of this started in the previous video. I put a few notes in there as well as, as the video went on. But we went ahead and upgraded our giant bomb to max for Town Hall 6 uh, to level 2. So the level 2 bo uh, giant bomb is complete. And then I went ahead and started knocking out the more expensive items, the items that took longer to upgrade, items like the air sweeper. And then, like you saw in the last video, we knocked out our air defenses. So I went ahead and knocked out th these three items first because they took a longer period of time, about a day on these, to upgrade um, and finish. They were a little bit longer than the others, and they were far more expensive. Uh, then we also upgraded our mortars next. These are ne another expensive item that take about a day to knock out, maybe a little bit longer. I can't remember ex the exact times. And then also we knocked out our wizard towers. Wizard towers were next. And then from then on, it's really just archer towers and cannons, which only go up one level. All of these items only went up one level. So that was good for us, and we were able to complete it quickly. So all of our cannons are maxed out, as well as our archer towers. And that will complete us for... Town Hall 6. Now, as you see over there in the lower left-hand corner, the 125 pieces, a level 6 wall, they are also complete. They cost about 50000 to get done, and it seems like it's a challenging process, but it's really not if you devote a builder towards it. I understand that's something that a lot of people don't want to do. However, if you devote a, a builder to walls and you have loot sitting there waiting for you to do an upgrade, just go ahead and knock out walls. That way they go quickly for you and you're not sitting on them for an extended period of time and they do matter. Walls do matter in war attacks as well as pushing attacks. Okay, so we are finished on our upgrade order and I think that's gonna probably wrap us up in this video. It's just a really short video, not a lot to talk about here. Um, the army that we've been using was uh, the Giants, Wizards, um, wall, break, wall breakers and two heal spells, clan castle troops, hogs. We'll talk about that army in the next video and show off a few examples of that army. Um, been facing off against a lot of town hall sevens, so it gets a little bit more challenging as you move up in trophies. It looks like we are in 1300 trophy range, so I mean, not bad for a town hall six. I could do better, I'm sure. However, uh, we're, we're more worried about going to Town Hall 7. And with that being said, since we've maxed out our storages up there on gold, with, without further ado, we're going to go ahead and do this at 12, uh, 12 million. No, no, no. A hundred, a uh, million, 200,000. There we go, man. All right, let's do it. So at that price, we are going to unlock some new items. We're going to get Tesla and the Barbarian King and the Dark Elixir game starts. So expect to see some Goblin Knife in the future because we're going to start doing that one again and see how many of you guys remember how to do it. And we get some additional cannons, we get some archer towers, we get another mortar, get all kinds of fun stuff, but the biggest thing that comes at Town Hall 7 is the Mighty Dragon, and I can't wait to get it because that one is a lot of fun to use in Clan War. And on that note, without further ado, let's do it, and we're going to go ahead and finish it right here with our Builder's Book. Boom! We are a Town Hall 7. Woo! It only took us about a month. 
a month yeah it's been about a month i think we started this account actually doing it in march so it is april about mid-april right now check the date on the video i can't remember exactly but it's about mid-april and we are now officially at town hall 7 so expect to see some town hall 7 content in the near future and on that note that's going to wrap us up for today guys if you enjoyed the content smash that like button subscribe if you haven't done so already and thanks for watching guys <laughs>